babe, just in case you missed my last video, now is a good time to go and check that out to see how I installed this RPG show unit that is super beginner friendly and nice, silky, and smooth, baby. <laughs> In today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to safely remove your units, how to wash, condition them, and maintain your lace, and kind of just set them to dry. So, of course, I'm starting off with my hair, just showing you how I actually wrap it down or tie it down at night, things like that. I really just focus on the edges to make sure I don't sweat them out during the night and things like that because I don't use uh, glue. And as you guys can see, of course, the sides of the unit um, did start to lift up, which is probably something you all can agree happens when you wear the lace frontals probably the most annoying part <laughs> but anywho I'm gonna go through and just kind of paddle brush this out just to get rid of any tangles ahead of time so I don't really have to worry too much about that in the washing process so yeah so here's just a close-up look at exactly what that looks like um, it can kind of tug on your edges a bit so you definitely want to make sure the moment you start to kind of feel that like it's getting loose go ahead and just remove it wash dry and if you need to reinstall definitely do that now that you know how right so I'm gonna be taking a spray bottle with some water conditioner and oil um, I'm gonna be using coconut oil of course that's my favorite one just to kind of loosen up it's not even glue honestly it's the gotta be glue spray or gotta yeah gotta be glue spray um, and so I just use this of course just to kind of massage all over my edges I literally apply it to my hairline up under the hairline and you can get rid of the cap along with um, the actual lace at the same time so it just penetrates really easy if you guys are wondering can you go in the water with this evidently not right I mean obviously <laughs> your whole wig is gonna be left behind so you definitely want to take your time with doing this I'm literally just massaging it in and then when I feel it you know kind of loosen up similar to how we remove our quick weaves with the oil method um, you kind of want to do the same thing now if you see that white residue under there it's obviously because if you saw the original video I did let you guys know that I have pre-moisturized my hair and then of course I also applied that gotta be glue um, gel or spray to my hair and also to the uh, the lace so there's that really nasty gunk buildup Ugh, so gross but as you guys can see there was no hair attached to it so that's what we're going for I'm actually going to use one of those like razors just to go ahead and remove the lace I don't want to I'm saying the lace the thread because I don't want to penetrate my braids or anything I want to be really careful with that and it just kind of helps ease up that process it's actually a great tool to use when you're removing a sew-in because you don't have to worry about cutting through your hair or anything so Edges are intact. They just look extremely disgusting. Obviously, I'm going to wash my hair off camera in my braids. So that's one thing that I do. I wash my hair while they're in the braids. Um, yeah, with just my shampoo and conditioner and allow it to dry as is and then reapply my wig. So I'm going to be starting off, of course, with shampooing this unit. You want to make sure that you really just get it completely saturated and wet, things like that. You guys know how to shampoo, right? <laughs> but the most important part is going to be the lace. Um, I know that a lot of people have trouble with truly just getting all that gunk out of it. If you guys want to see how to remove glue from a lace, definitely let me know. Comment down below so that I know. Um, because I struggled with that when I first started doing wigs, and then I kind of caught on. Okay, like So I found a method that gets rid of it the fastest and easiest um, so yeah you just want to brush that material on itself it even helps if you have like a brush handy just to go ahead and really scrub 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 the front of that lace to make sure that you're taking as much care as possible you want to be gentle with it you don't really want to tug out too too much hair um, I know that a lot of people say like oh the lace you know um, it tends to shed more than likely that's because your lace has gotten really dry at the root and so that means the hair is dry and then you continue to put the gels and the spray and reapply reapply and then when you brush it literally is going to tug out the hair because it's stiff so my max for holding a wig or leaving a wig in usually is about four days four to five days and I know that sounds crazy that's why I'm encouraging you guys to learn to do this yourself if you're gonna buy the wigs that's fine if you want to do the sewing installs that's even fine but you need to know how to maintain it and really be able to take care of that lace otherwise you're gonna be paying someone like me uh, probably too much money to maintain something that you can honestly just do yourself so I encourage that just try it out so yeah as you guys can see this water was really really dirty so uh, you definitely want to focus on the cap of the wig as well because sometimes that does get dirty if you especially if you like work out you sweat a lot in your head the lace will get really nasty and dirty and you're wondering like how is this even possible 
come on it's dirt you know so yeah my water was like brown so I'm actually gonna wash this out twice and kind of just go through it just like that the hair was extremely soft you guys can see I don't have any tangles or anything like that I really didn't have much shedding I think I only had a couple of hairs that came out and overall I think the wig definitely holds up to its potential and for the second wash through it should really be easy you get to use a little bit less product because it's pretty much clean for the most part just double checking the lace making sure that everything is completely washed off any makeup residue that would have been left there because um like I said I also resell my unit so this will be one that I will resell it will be on my website if that's something that you're interested in but definitely make sure to clean these bay Bees. You definitely don't want to, um, you know, put that old residue back on your scalp. So clean, clean, clean as much as you can. All right. And now that everything is pretty much clean, I'm going to go ahead and just rinse that um, last little bits of shampoo off and then go ahead and apply some conditioner. All right. So once you completely just wring the hair almost dry, obviously it's not going to be dry, but just get as much water as you can out of the hair. Um, and yeah, see, that's pretty much all I had that shed it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, go ahead and cut off your water because you really want to dedicate this time to your conditioner. So I'm using the conditioner that RPG Show provided, which is called the Absorber. Um, and it actually has some burrito. Burity? Is that what it's called? Burity oil deep conditioner. So apparently it's some new type of, I don't know, fruit or something. But y'all, this conditioner was extremely thick, which I love. I actually have an additional pack that I want to use on my real hair to just see if it gives me that same feeling. Um, so yeah, this conditioner was a freaking amazing and a little went a long way. And it literally just kind of like wrapped itself around the hair and made it feel extremely soft. It looks super shiny. It just really did its job. So I decided I was even going to put it on the lace because sometimes your lace, like I said, it'll get dry and you want to make sure that it's moisturized and soft because otherwise it will cause the hair to shed or you ever just get that really uncomfortable feeling while you're wearing lace where it's just like, oh, I need this thing to come off. So yeah, you definitely want to kind of prevent things like that. So also moisturize your lace. Then, of course, I'm going to take some lukewarm water. So I like to just kind of put um, hot and cold to the same extent um, just to kind of rinse the baby out. And I'll put it through the water just to kind of give it a little water conditioner bath and then go ahead and just rinse everything off completely. So it's really, really easy. You guys just really want to take your time with doing this. In the moment of taking off my wigs, I was just stuttering so hard. Oh, my God. Anyway, you see that luster. But I try to get in the habit of washing my wigs the moment that I take it off so that I can really get the maximum um, results out of the hair and also get it to just last a lot longer. Because sometimes if you take it off, put it away, by the time you come back to wash that thing, it's looking crazy. So anyway, I have my mannequin head. Obviously, you don't have to use this one. You can use a foam one. But this one I got off of Amazon. It's just a, ca a canvas. Uh, wick ahead. Why can't I talk? Oh, anyway, got this one off Amazon. Y'all, look at my braids. Okay, so yeah, um, I like to actually go ahead and part off the space that I'm going to eventually wear again. You don't have to do this if you're not going to be sure about if you're going to do a middle part, side part, up, down, whatever. You could just brush all the hair to the back. But I really, really enjoy styling it in the way that I kind of want it to stay because you get to do less work as far as your styling tools. So when it's time for you to go in with your straight straightening comb, you won't have to worry too, too much. Okay. I don't know why I can't talk today. Y'all, this is ridiculous. But anyway, I have some of those little T-pins. I'll put one in the back. You don't want to really penetrate the lace too, too much. And then, yeah, just brush everything back. And kind of out of the way and then I'll put a pin on the left side right side and just let it dry and it usually takes the wig about a full day for it to be completely you know dry and kind of ready to go this one I didn't plan on wearing again it, like I said I'm gonna put it on the website but um yeah if you want your own brand new straight out of the box definitely make sure to check out RPG show their details will be listed down in the description box and if they provide any coupon codes I'll also give you the details on that so that's pretty much it for this video, and I will see you guys next time. I love you guys so much. Bye, babes.